What is going on? Rip. <laughs> Sir Leonard, thank you for two years. Enjoy the golden acorn, Sir Leonard. Canada is part of North America. Who said it? Who said it wasn't Taipan? Uh, King Awesome, I believe they already discussed that a few years ago and couldn't work things out. I think they'd rather stay independent. Romwoods would rather stay independent and, and just, you know, do it for fun. Mad Wolf, welcome back. Let's get a photo on the bridge, shall we? Overlapping content is very annoying for the team. Yeah, exactly, Presley. You just want to do it for fun, exactly. Someone, they, uh, someone asked why is doing Canada an American truck simulator? Oh, I see. They were, they were quite right, got you. They were saying why is, yeah, is Canada in America? Well, technically, technically, America is North and South America, isn't it? So if you do Mexico, you're in the Americas. So it depends what you mean by American. It, if it had it been called United States Truck Simulator, you could probably make a point. I'm not bad, Crawley. Looking forward to sleeping in my own bed tonight. <laughs> Happy Easter, Mad Wolf. Thank you for 11 months. Canada is certainly not in America. Uh, well, it kind of is, isn't it? Isn't, isn't that whole continent called the Americas? America is the continent. USA is the country. Canada is in North America. There you go. So, uh, graceful cyclist, I think we're agreed that Canada is in America. It's not in the United States, but it is in America. Yeah, but graceful cyclist, um, yes, I agree. The Brits do just call it America, which is incorrect in a way. They should just say USA or United States or something to be correct, but mostly people understand what they mean when they say America, even though they shouldn't really be saying it. Yeah, well look at South America, t -Bale. South America's got a ton of countries in it. Chile, Peru, Brazil, to name but a few. You normally say the States. Well, that's accurate. Yeah, USMC vert. I think I think they'll be fine for a while. <laughs> Motley, double top, double top for me this month. Happy Easter. Nice to have you back on the on the monitor. Thanks, Motley. Brazilian death road would be nice to drive an ETS too. Well, Br Brazil has been done by like a Brazilian mod team, hasn't it? Planning for Washington this summer and another one before the year ends, Connor. Did um, the Pro Mods team say when they're going to release the um, the new map for ATS? 
I seem to remember, because I only saw it briefly while I was in Insomnia, I seem to remember they showed a picture showing like the road they're working on. Is it just basically a single road at the moment? There's no date. Dang. Thing is, if they're announcing it, surely they must be fairly progressed. Kevin, 1980, thank you for nine months. Twitch baby. Am I excited for the new ETS mod? You'll have to be more specific. Frog here. It will connect to Washington, so that needs to release first. Fair enough. So that means you'll have to have Washington DLC in order to use pro mods, right? You missed your turn, Rip. I was too busy reading your chat. Arcade Forest, thank you for two years. Happy anniversary. You're welcome. Looks like we got away with it. Uh, Adal Droll, thank you for 20 months. Uh, just wanted to pop in and say happy Easter and share my resub. I'm now heading for a visit with my dad. Enjoy the rest of your day. And you too, Adal Droll. plan is for Washington to come out. Yeah, they have to. So I would guess, you know, Washington would come out and then maybe they won't be too far behind it. GTS, GPS on ETS having the rollover problem all GPSs are having now? I don't know. So did anybody do anything special for Easter this year? Or have you guys just been like sitting in the garden and stuff? Or playing some games, or watching some movies, or going for some barbecue food, or have you actually done anything different? You're working. If you work in retail, you kind of have to though, don't you? I don't know if you work in retail, but I'm just saying. Bought a third screen for your setup. Nice. Eating chocolate? Why not? It's not really special though, is it? Going to your uncle's house. First day of cricket season. Anybody been watching the World Championship snooker? Practicing the ukulele? That's different. Had a beer in the garden. Why not? You put the wheels back on the caravan. Ready for truck first. <laughs> nice. Eating cheesecake. been playing snooker 19. Oh, I think I saw somebody streaming that. You didn't even know there's world championships going on. Dude, it's every April. Mm. 
World Championships always finish on my birthday weekend, or roughly about then. Sorry, they don't finish on my birthday weekend. They start, they're in the, in my birthday weekend, they're in the middle of it, and they always finish on the bank holiday, the May bank holiday. He was having a beer in the garden, the next door started mowing. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I've honestly, like, snooker and pool on the computer just never works properly. The closest you could probably get to it is some VR, but then I've seen people fall over playing it in VR because they put their hand on the table, lean over, and end up flat on the floor because there's no table there in VR. <laughs> Any plans to trip to the Crucible and watch a session of snooker? Nah, I'd love to. But, you know, I've just got too many trips going on right now. You kind of do need a table to play in VR, bizarrely. Jimmy White? Nah, he retired. I don't think he's entering. I'd be amazed if he did. I doubt he'd make the qualifier. VR stuff at Insomnia. They had a Vive, they had a PlayStation VR. I think there was like the army recruitment was there and they had some VR games, bizarrely enough. Well, the, the game I saw earlier was Sean Murphy playing some Chinese guy. And it was the Chinese guy's very first time at the Crucible. And it turns out that he's also, um, like a concert level pianist. And he wears this really weird glove on his hand, like on his uh, bridge hand. He has this bizarre black glove. I've never seen anybody play with one. I don't actually know what it's doing. It's probably hacking the table. <laughs> Kai Show, thank you for 26 months. Jimmy White got knocked out in qualifying round three. I'm not surprised. I don't think it's a sweaty hands thing. I wonder if it's something to do with his um his the fact that he plays a piano. You get too old for snooker. Well you kinda do, right? Most sports most sports go that way. You know, once you're in your thirties as a footballer, you're pretty much your writing's on the wall. In fact, the oldest footballers are normally the goalkeepers. Bondo! Thank you for dropping 10 subs. Is that Bondo? Thank you very much. If you just got gifted a sub, remember to thank Bondo16 for dropping 10 subs. Like a boss. Thanks, Bondo. Very kind. Yeah, the other thing is, like, as you get older, your eyesight starts to go and stuff, so it becomes harder to, like, accurately see the ball at the other end of the table. Might be allergies. Could be. Let's have a look where we are. Let's go through Bremen. Those signs difference at the top there? In theory, we're on the new road, I think. You couldn't see the end of the table full stop without your glasses. <laughs> Welcome to the nut house. When you uh, when you're a kid and you see a full size snooker table for the first time, oh HSD. I, I remember as a kid having I had a six foot snooker table, 
And if you go from a six foot snooker table to a 12 foot snooker table as a kid, it's like the size of an ocean. It's ridiculous. Wait, what, Bollard? You call it Bollards? It's called Snooker. It only has one name. Billiards. No, Billiards is not Snooker. Billiards is a different game. Billiards is a game that involves two whites and a red. Sp uh, splits. Welcome back. Bowman's half a year. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Bowman's. Playing snooker on a full-size table does turn you into a pool shark. Yeah, if you play on a snooker table, then go play in pool. It, it just feels like, I don't know, just easy. <laughs> no, Neil Ange, billiards and snooker are two very different games. In fact, some of the early snooker champions were actually championship billiards players. The problem with billiards is if you're really good at it, you can be on the table for hours and your opponent doesn't get to play for hours. It's a bit of a stupid game in that sense. But yeah, it does hone your skill, absolutely. You learn a lot about cannons, how to play a cannon shot. You learn a lot about that if you play billiards. And plants as well. Peterbilt, the Easter Bunny is coming to town. Hope there's a hippity hop, a hippity hopping your way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Outline the difference between snooker and billiards. Uh, yeah, Captain Flint. So I'm not sure if I can outline it, but snooker is essentially oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. snooker is essentially like 16 reds, six colours, and a white ball, which is your cue ball. And you you pot the, you have to pot a red then a black sorry a red then a color until all the reds are gone and then you pot the colors in order. Um, that's snooker. It's a lot more complex than that. Sorry, fifteen reds. It's a lot more complex than that. When it comes to billiards, you've got two whites and a red, and the way that you score is very different. You have to sort of you have to hit the like the you can hit your opponent's white ball. Um, and then you can hit the colour, or hit the colour and the white ball, or you can pot the red, which then gets respotted. It's just a bizarre game. But essentially you can, you can keep up this kind of combo of shots going for ages. And some of the best billiard players could get like a thousand points without leaving the table. It's played on the same 12 foot table though. Cares for hire, thank you for almost three years. Bondo, feels like I've not been here in forever. Uh, here's the taxes I've collected from your squirrel means here in Ontario. LOL Bondo. <laughs> thank you very much Bondo for not only 3,000 bits but gifting 10 subs. Super generous support, thank you. Welcome back Jersek, thanks Banner for gifting him a sub. Yeah, Captain Flint. Billiards is such a bizarre game that you, if you go and read the rules on it, the first time you read it, you'll be like, what? <laughs> and it's it's not really that popular anymore. And it's certainly not made for TV now. Thanks, Bondo. You'll stick to road cycling. There's no technique involved in that. Apart from not falling off or not getting knocked off. Yeah. Anonymous gifter to Asus Rog. I'm calling Whiteland on that one. 100%. I'm calling them Whiteland. Not getting knocked off is the hard one. <laughs> yeah.
You looked up Billy's video, first thing you see is someone likely hitting a ball uh, to bring it into place, then he hit it into the corner, since you're allowed to stay on the table after not potting. But if I remember the rules of billiards, Lord Soccer, you get something like one shot where you don't hit the other ball. It's something like, I can't remember the rules of billiards, it's been so long since I played it, but I think you're allowed one shot where you don't hit something. Something like that. Also, I think if you pot your opponent's cue ball, it stays in the pocket. It doesn't come back on. But if you pot the red, it comes back on. I can't remember. Anonymous Gifter, <coughs> Whiteland, to Asus Rog UK. Well, thank you very much. Anonymous Gift to Asus Rog Taiwan. Thank you, Whiteland. Yeah, I told you, Lord Soki, the rules are bizarre. The, the rules are very strange in billiards. Like the respotting rules as well, and the miss, like the missing rules and stuff, are just odd. Personally, I like American pool. I don't like British pool. British pool has like reds and yellows, and much smaller balls. And the tables played on a six-foot table. Whereas American Pool is played on an eight foot table, bigger pockets, bigger balls, and then you've got nine ball and various variations oh, of it. I just yeah. find it more fun. Billiards and Pool are completely not the same, King Awesome. They, and pool is a completely different game to Billiards. And I think there's more than one variation of American Pool as well. Kilmowski with a thousand bits. Thanks for the great entertainment. Kilmowski, thank you very much, sir. Oh, God. That was almost your fault, Kalmowski. Uh, Davor, thank you for 20. Anonymous gift to Asus Rog FR. Thanks, Whiteland. You don't know what kind of pool we play. Well, have you got... Have you got, like, um... Stripes and, and spots? Or have you got like reds and yellow balls? No longer suffering from insomnia. Carl, walk her back. Peter Bill, 200 bits, the Easter Bunny song I had for the 22 month sub was the Rankin Bass Special. I have no idea what that is, Peter Bill. Is my track iron not working? It's working fine. Dragex, thank you for two months. Grandfather was a professional pool player in Vegas. He taught me everything I know about pool. And how much do you know about pool, King Olsen? Whoa. That doesn't look good. Took the corner out. Apparently you missed Bullets Coles resub. Uh, hmm. Was it before Bondo's sub bomb? That often pushes it off the screen. There you go, I just saw it then. Uh, Bullets Coles, 37 months, been missing your streams. Last couple of nights, can't wait for you to go back to a normal schedule. Thanks, Bullets Coles, sorry. I, I think it was Bondo's sub bomb. Hashtag blame Bondo. The Vanquish, double top, 40 months, happy Easter. Uh, Nick, this, this coming week, guys, will be relatively back to normal, except, except, I won't be streaming on my birthday on Friday, because I'm going out. So what I might do is stream on Thursday instead. So what I might do this week is stream Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, rather than Friday. So we'll almost be a normal stream. 
Anonymous gift to Asus Rogi Ren? Really? Really, Whiteland? I'll, I'll try and work things out first, Connor. I'll, I'll let you know this week. I'm not streaming tomorrow, no. No, I've got things I need to do. The bathroom work starts on Tuesday. Finally, 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 my bathroom is being redone. So I've got to sort things out tomorrow. And take a bit of rest. Happy 19, thanks. <laughs> Would you like ice with your birthday cake? I might ask Mrs. Squirrel to make me a birthday cake for Saturday. Turning 21 again. Dude, I've never even hit 21. I can't wait for my 21st. Join the club, Hugo. Uh, Peter Belt, I have no idea when I'm going to stream my summer car next. I, I've heard it's got an update too, so I may have to sort of come back to it shortly. But this week, I'm hoping to do some flying, like streaming flying. After Friday, you won't be a teen anymore. What? It's outrageous. Oh, yeah. Blidis, thank you for 300 bits, sir. Welcome back. And welcome back for Tonic. Thanks for the support, Blidis. Into Rostock. Will there be a birthday cake bake-off? Highly unlikely, considering I'm having the bathroom done. Which means that There'll be stuff all around the house, and like, I don't want to put that pressure on Mrs. Squirrel. Uh, Chris, hoping to stream DCS World, yeah. That's my plan at the moment. I'm hoping to uh, do some Hornet, Hornet work in DCS World. Uh, that's one of the reasons I was asking in Discord about who, does, who um, flies a Hornet. Adonarin, thank you for seven months. Because I've got some plans around um, Nuthouse, Nuthouse flying in DCS World. So I'm just going to work out who's who actually uses DCS World. Not for this week, but for future weeks. I've got some ideas. Get some Nuthouse flying squadrons going. I have 55 on Friday special. What? You've got the same birth date as me? Friday the 26th. Dude, Jack Sims, if my plane would actually come out of maintenance, I'd actually fly it. It's in maintenance for another, like, it's been all last week and all this week. Bob Monkhouse, DCS World is on Steam, but I would recommend that you um, download it from the website. DCS World is actually free. You just basically pay for the maps and the planes that you want to fly. I do not own a plane, though. No. Restore Failure, thank you for nine months. Here's to one of the greatest. Glad to, have you, uh, glad to give you support. Thank you, Restore. Uh, so, yeah, the... The, there's currently a sale on there's an Easter sale on at DCS World for like another week or something um, so there's some quite substantial savings on stuff at the moment Connor, happy Easter. Lol. The soundbite works quite well. Getting a new bathroom, eh? 
Make sure to get the shower dispense ice cubes. <laughs> Polly, what are you linking there, man? Hang on. Uh, let's try and click on your link. There's one. Where's the other one gone? There it is. Wait, what? Nutty squirrel at the wheel, Paulie. Have you just thrown that together, Paul? Nutty squirrel at the wheel. Whoa. You got the eye tracker working. I've never used it. I believe that deserves a glove emote, right? Like a glove. Right, brakes. <laughs> you knew Polo would come up with the skin. It's just nuts. Uh, where can you find the daft mod? Uh, let me... I didn't actually link it to Motley, which was naughty of me. One second. Let me dig out the link. All right, I'm going to post it in chat and I'll also post it over to Motley. So we can put it in the mod spreadsheet. Cup of tea. Yes, please. Right, I've posted it into Motley and I'll post it into chat. There you go. Melt no sugar, same as me. Paulie, when are you making that skin available, by the way? Oh, you've already messaged me. Hang on, let me tab out again. Thanks, Molly. Um, right, let me see. Okay, he's already downloaded it. Right, let me get this downloaded one sec. Oh, you put it on Steam already? Okay. The Steam link is the skin I made a few weeks ago. Is that the one I need then, Paulie? The SCS I sent you is the day cab version for you now. Okay. Oh, I so see. You sent me two links. Got you. Didn't spot that. Welcome back, Nutter. X Luke. Thanks for the cup of tea, my man. See, when X Luke sends me bits with the tea, I automatically get a cup of tea. How cool is that? That's the power of technology, that is. Right, let me grab this thing. Put it into your truck mod. Okay. There we that should now appear. There we go. Awesome. Uh, 
Uh, what have I missed? Connor, happy use of the soundbite works well. Get in a new bathroom, are you? Make sure you get the shower dispenser depends ice cubes. Sorry, I've read that again. X Luke, keep it makes it work. Also, have you decided where the meeting point is for Truck Fest? Yes. So, Truck Fest, I think, will be at 12 p.m. on both days. I will confirm that for you next weekend for sure, but it will be at the SCS truck and trailer because they'll be gifted they'll be giving things out. I'll be giving some stuff away, and SCS will be giving stuff away. Uh, but I will I will give you all the details later this week. Um, but I will be there on both days. SCS will be there on both days. And we will be meeting up at the truck trailer of SCS. Because I think they're going to get some photos as well. So I kind of think in this year maybe we can do like a big group photo. Which we don't normally do. I think that would be awesome. Anonymous gift to World of Warships. Thank you, Wyland. Wyland's getting blamed for everything. Paulie, you should come because uh, like Truckers FM are going to be there. Some of the guys, like I think Digital, will be there again from the uh, Convoy guy. Uh, a lot of the Nuthouse people are there. A lot of the mods are there. Like you should definitely come. It's just a really good meetup. Let's see if there's a mechanic nearby in the Rostock. No Jack Sims this year. Why not? Just fly up, Jack Sims. Jump in your 172 and fly up. I'm sure if you ask them nicely, you can just, like, land in the car park or something. As long as you turn up early enough, there'll be space. Busy. Busy. Busy doing May exam nonsense. Meh, you should be there. If the UK wasn't across the pond, you'd show up. You know we have planes these days, King Awesome, don't you? That fly across ponds. You need deadlines. From 54 months. It's the return of the purple button. I've been waiting there for to click it for over a week. Thanks, Vrom. See, Vrom's going to truck fest. Planes, what kind of sorcery is this? Uh oh. Happy anniversary. Happy Takes months to get a passport. Uh, you can get a speedy service if you pay extra. Normally takes about two weeks, I think. If you're really in a hurry, you can even go down to the, uh, what's it called, the embassy, I think, and get it done super fast. Nice. Nutty squirrel at the wheel. Look at that. I love the way you can change this color. It doesn't do anything, but you can change it. I love that feature, Paulie. I think I'll have it on bright green. Nice one, Paulie. Thank you very much, sir. We get cheeky 40 euro service while they're here. Just change the air fresheners. <laughs> the side skirts are wrong. Yeah, I'm sure you can fix it. It's only an alpha version, right? Rollsy, thank you for seven months. Whackaday, 69 months. Happy Easter. Oh my god. Whackaday and Tharox oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. are almost on the 70 month mark. Seven zero months. Can you actually believe that?
Peter Belt, I'm sure there is a uh, country called Whiteland. Asus Rog Whiteland. I'm sure there is. But nobody can find it. What does the back of the truck say? It says... Nutty Squirrel at the Wheel. Hey, Dark Elf. Oh, thanks, Wackaday. You're definitely going to come across the pond someday to meet you at an event, Bondo. You definitely should, my man. Oh, I've, I've got a question for you. Has anybody been to the... Um, <clears throat> what's it called? The Flight Sim show that's in the Netherlands at the end of October, I think it is. Start of November. I can't remember the name of it. I think Lol Soki knows which one I mean because we almost went there last year. But has anybody actually been to it before? Cosford is like in October and about two or three weeks later you have this other one in the Netherlands. Frosty Jack, 42 months, thank you very much. Happy Easter to you. Nacho, welcome back. You can't remember the name, Flevoland. It's in Le Leistat Airport or something, Lord Sokia. It's something like Leistat. But I can't remember the name of the show. See on the map where we want to go. Aviodrome. Leliastat, there you go. That was it. It's a great show on the Aviodrome of Leliastat Airport. So I was looking. So it's it's pretty is it worth going then? Because I worked out I think I can get an easy jet flight and be in there in one hour. <laughs> I think I can fly from either South End or Stansted or Gatwick straight into Ledistat Airport in one hour. The only problem is when I get there, I've got no transport, so and the hotels seem to be like miles away. So that's my only major concern. Where should we go? Yeah, November the 2nd, 3rd, that's it. There are buses stopping at the Aviodrome that take you... Where do they take you to? The hotels? Well, Jack Sims, I'd love to fly GA there, but I don't think start November's ideal VFR weathered you. <laughs> Unless you, me and you want to fly over, right? Happy anniversary, Nutter. The new skin doesn't work. Um, work for me. According to the website, it's the biggest flight sim event in the world. That's what Cosford say as well. Do they actually speak English, though? That's another question I have. Whoa. Like, they're not speaking Dutch or something, are they? Hey, what could I? It's very international. I quite fancy going because I've not been to it before. I think it's one of the lesser known ones. Hmm. We'll take that one. You'd be amazed if you used to Cosford. Well, I've seen Cosford and FS Expo, so... Yeah, it's probably that, Vrom. If it's on November the 2nd and 3rd, then it is that. For sure. Uh, 
Uh, the day cab version is not on Steam Workshop. Yeah, so Polly's just done this, but it's not. Like, the one on the Workshop is only for the Space Cab. It's not for this cab. He's just done this version now, but he's not put it on the Workshop yet. Yeah, that's the one, Vroom. So, I'm, I reckon, Vroom... I reckon... Lolsoki could get there. Mate, I reckon you could get there, Vroom. I don't know if, if um, Lolsoki's in driving distance for you. But you guys could drive there, basically. 